Hey guys, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, you might want to subscribe because I post videos every single Thursday and you don't want to miss them. A lot of you guys have been asking for a setup video since I got a bunch of new equipment these past few weeks. I'm going to show you how I set up my overhead view of the keyboard and how I film all my videos. So let's get into it. So before this new setup, for the past year, I've been using one camera, one external mic, and one tripod, and that's the Canon EOS M50 with the Rode Video Mic Pro external mic and the KNF Concept ball head tripod. And I'm gonna link all the products I mentioned in this video in the description box so you guys can feel free to check it out. And I am filming on the EOS M50 right now, so I'm gonna insert some B-roll to show you guys what that looks like. So let's go ahead and switch to my Canon PowerShot so I can show you the setup I've been using for the past year to film all my overhead playing videos. Guys, sorry, I just realized this as I'm editing, I forgot to mention my new camera. So the reason I'm able to uh, get two shots, one from overhead and one from the side, is because I use the Canon EOS M50 from the side, and from the top I use the Canon PowerShot um, SX 620HS, and I'm linking everything down below in the description. Again, this was actually a graduation gift from my parents, so thank you mom and dad if you're watching this. Let's get right back into the video. So basically for the past year, I've been using Nari Soul's setup for the overhead keyboard view. I love her channel and I'll link her video down below in the description for you guys. If you haven't already checked out her channel, you definitely, definitely should. And I was so happy to see her video online when I was looking for overhead instructional videos because there really aren't enough of those online. So let's get into it, see if I can set this up. So you're just gonna grab the tripod and you want the back leg to be shorter than the two front legs. So let's open them up. So I'm just gonna position it how I like inside the piano and then open up the back leg. And it's okay if it's leaning back slightly because the tripod is gonna open up later to hang over the piano. Next, you're gonna wanna grab a five pound weight. Um, I love how I'm struggling with a five pound weight. Um, and I just put it in uh, any bag. You can put it in any bag. I just put it in the camera bag that came in with the Canon EOS M50. And then I'm just gonna put it on the inside of the back leg. So it's just gonna be hanging like that to counter balance the weight of the tripod when it actually does open up. So let's do that now. So we're just gonna open up the ball head and I'm sorry if it gets out of view. Just open it and then it falls down over the keyboard and that's pretty much it just leave room for error like uh, this is probably not exactly perfect I'll know for sure when I put the camera inside so let's do that now hi so that's pretty much it you have most of the keyboard in view you can adjust it a little bit um, and of course, this depends on how high you make the tripod. So you can make the legs taller, obviously in proportion to whatever you know works for your piano. I'm just always kind of scared that it's going to topple over because of the way it's it's uh, set up. So I'm okay with cutting off a little bit of the edges of the keyboard just so it feels a little bit more sturdy. But yeah, that's pretty much the setup. I usually crop everything behind the keyboard out of it and put the score in front of the keyboard and you can play whatever you want. It's pretty much set up. You guys know that I'm always super real with you on this channel. There are pros and cons to this setup. The pros, of course, are that it's more affordable. Um, it's an easier way to set everything up than the setup I have today. And I think it's a great way to get started with filming over the keyboard shots without getting overwhelmed. Now the cons, and I mentioned a little bit of this already, are that it's not very stable. Um, so especially when I play some big chords, the camera um, tends to move around a little bit and you can see that in the shot unfortunately. Another thing to keep in mind is that when I turn on the TRS setting on the N3X, which is a setting that I love the most about this piano, it makes the whole piano vibrate and really makes it feel like a real acoustic piano. Unfortunately, I can't use the TRS setting when I'm using this tripod because the vibrations come into the tripod and the camera and they max out the mic so the audio becomes unusable and there have been a few times more than a few times that i filmed a whole video not realizing the trs vibrational setting was on and then i had to refilm it afterwards another issue i had was when i was playing i'd find myself looking up while i was playing 
um, just because I was scared that it was going to topple over on me. So instead of focusing on what I was playing, I was kind of worried about the tripod. Um, again, that's just kind of my, that, that's just me, but I just wanted to mention it. Another thing was that, of course, the full keyboard is not always in view, and that's also my choice. Uh, because I can technically make the legs longer so more of the keyboard is in the shot but because of how scared I already am that it's going to topple over I didn't want to make it even taller and the last thing is that um, you can't play at full volume because again even if the TRS setting is off the vibrational setting um, just the volume of the piano is going to cause the, uh, the camera to vibrate and possibly max out the mic. So if you're planning to use this setup, just keep those things in mind. Again, nothing against Marisol's setup. I loved finding her video and I was obsessed with this setup for a whole year I was using it. Um, so definitely recommend this for beginners if you guys are just getting started with the overhead view. So for my new setup, I basically came across all of these new pieces of equipment in a blog post and I'll try to link it down below if I can find it. Um, they were just talking about, I think it was a photography uh, blog post, not music related, and they were explaining how to get that overhead shot, you know, when they're writing in the notebooks and there's a cup of coffee beside or whatever. But I was like, works for me, like it's the same thing. I need a nice keyboard shot. So we have a C stand, a boom pole holder, a monopod, and two sandbags. Oh, they're kind of heavy, but ugh. this is one and there's two of them. I'm not gonna take it apart like completely because that would be too much work for me to put together and I'm not sure honestly if I would be able to do it. I'm not really the building type, but I was super proud that I did it all myself. So let's get right into it. So the C stand is very sturdy. It's got three legs and I have the two sandbags on the top leg. That's what I read you're supposed to do. And it just stands tall. You can make it even taller, but just so you can fit it in the shot, I made it a little shorter. And what you're gonna do is pick one of these openings to put the boom pole holder into and then attach the monopod to the boom pole holder. So this is the boom pole holder. This is what it looks like, just this tiny little thing. And I just realized it kind of got chewed up a little bit. I just took it out for the first time um, to show you and the C-stand chewed it up pretty bad. So I don't know if I should get uh, a new one I don't know, I'm probably not going to, but let me know in the comments if there are any experts you think I should get a new one. It just holds the monopod from the bottom here and from the top here, so there's no way it would fall out. Um, let me show you how it fits into the C-stand. So next, what you wanna do is take a look at these openings and choose which this would fit into best. So it's nice and snug. Um, whoa, I'm just gonna, what is happening? I'm just gonna do this one. Um, let's make it just screw it in, but that's really not enough. Like I put it in crooked. Um, and the problem is I have to do it at the same time as putting the monopod into the boom pole holder. So it's a little bit of a tricky step. Let's move the camera back so I can show you how to do it all at the same time. So I have my video monopod. I'm just gonna open one of these latches to make it a little bit longer because this is the part that's gonna be hanging over the piano. And there you have it. Um, I have installed all of the things. Now you know why the sandbags come in handy because otherwise it would all topple over. Um, so I've installed it. Let's drag this whole contraption over to the piano so I can show you what it looks like. So here we are, now you know how I actually film my practice vlogs. Obviously adjust as you see fit, like mine is usually a little bit taller than this. Um, it wouldn't fit in the whole keyboard if it was this short, so let's just adjust that. So there's just this knob on the side here that you can use to pull it out. It is quite heavy, make sure you don't hurt yourself. So now that I have it all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and put the Canon power shot in here and start it up so I can show you. And the weirdest part for me was actually figuring out how to attach this to the camera and then that to the monopod. It's just this long attachment with a bolt thing, I don't, I don't know what it's called, inside that attaches to the camera on the other side and you actually do need um, a screwdriver. So you just kind of screw it in with your fingers and then 
the rest with the screwdriver. You really don't want the camera to fall on top of your head when you're playing, that would be sad. So once you have it attached onto the camera, you can now put it onto the monopod. So there you go, guys. That's how you set up your overhead keyboard view. A lot of steps and what I actually cut out of the practice vlogs, apart from this whole contraption behind me, is me standing up on this chair and checking the angle of the camera before I press record. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm just turning on the camera. <laughs> I just turned it on, hello! Um, so the angle is a little bit off. I mean, so I would just get off and move the monopod a little bit and just see if it's better. You get the idea, just play around with it. Now the full keyboard is in view and you have your setup. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. And if you have any other questions, please be sure to let me know in the comments. And I'll do my best to answer them. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to watch some more of my videos, you can do that right here. Bye, guys.